Um, I don't even know where to start, but basically I'm coming on to do a life update with you guys. This is a topic I've been avoiding. I'm like totally rambling. I, who, sorry. Hold on, let me get myself together. No view. It's never a fun topic. Hi guys, and welcome to today's video. Today is actually January 2nd. Um, it's a Thursday. Sorry, my dog's eating her food. Sorry if you can hear her. It's about one o'clock in the afternoon and I'm filming a video because it is time that I give you guys a big life update. So if you guys are new here, hi, my name's Abby. I make videos all about nursing school, but by the time you're seeing this, probably not much longer because graduation is quickly approaching. Um, I'm in my last semester of nursing school and I'm about to start in a few days. So hi, if you're new here, my name's Abby. Welcome, I'm super excited that you're here. My channel's all about nursing, nursing school. It's kind of like a lifestyle vlog channel. It's kind of evolved over the few years that I've been here now. Sorry if you can hear my dog eating. She decided to eat right now, so <laughs> sorry about that. But I'm super glad that you're here. If you are new and you're not subscribed, go down below and hit the subscribe button and the little bell that's right next to it. It just notifies you anytime I post a video. So today's video, I it's gonna be tough. Um, I'm probably gonna get emotional, but it's a life update that needs to happen and you guys need to hear, and I'm filming it now on January 2nd, but you probably won't be seeing it for a while. So, so if you guys don't know, I am married. My husband Connor is a firefighter in the Air Force, so he's in the military. And the whole main point of this video is that there's gonna be a lot of changes going on, and that is because in 2020, he is deploying. Um, this is our first deployment. I, yeah, I try not to get emotional. Um, I can't talk too much about it other than he is going to be deployed. I can't tell you when he's leaving. I can't tell you when he's coming back. I can't tell you where he's going. I can't tell you any of that. I can say that he's deploying in the spring. I can tell you that much. We've known since September that this was happening and I just didn't want to talk about it until like things were set in stone because things with the military change all the time. You know, there's a potential that it was going to get canceled or that he was leaving sooner or the location was changing. Like things change all the time. They've changed a million times since we found out in September and they're continuing to change all the time. Like his date just got changed by like a month. That's kind of been something we've been dealing with, um, just the two of us and like with our families and our close friends know, but it's not something I want to come on social media about until I knew it was like a for sure thing. So now that I know that it's set in stone, it's happening, like he signed the paperwork for it, it's, it's a go. Um, I felt like I could come on and talk to you guys about it. So again, I can't give any details, I can't give any information, so don't even bother asking those questions because I literally cannot tell you. We had a really long conversation about it multiple times. Uh, we changed our minds on what we were gonna do multiple times. Things just kind of went back and forth for a while. So one of our options was to stay in the apartment that we're in now. Basically, our rent is expensive. Um, you know, obviously depending on where you live in the country, it might be a little bit different, but where we live is expensive to live for us and for the amount of money the military gives him and for me not having a job right now. It is expensive. And so we talked about me staying here. We could just continue paying rent like we have been and I could just live here. Our lease ends while he's gone. And so since our lease ends while he's gone, we could do month to month until he's back or we could sign for a whole nother year at our apartment. And we didn't really want to sign for a whole nother year at our apartment just because we don't know where I'm gonna be working. And if I'm working closer to his base, it would make no sense for us to live here when we both be commuting to the same location. We could just live by the hospital that I work at and the base and not have to live here, which we won't know where I'm working until a few months from now. So it's kind of a mess. Sorry if this is super confusing and I'm like not making any sense. I'm just like trying to talk my way through my thoughts right now. So we didn't really want to sign for a whole nother year at our apartment and going month to month would raise our rent $500 a month and that's just obscene considering our rent is already expensive. I didn't want to do that. That's a lot of money, especially for just me to be living here. That seems kind of silly. Just from like a financial standpoint, we just didn't think that was a smart option. And if you don't know, my parents literally live down the street from us and that's where I used to live where we moved into our apartment. We're literally five minutes away from them. So I thought about, okay, I could stay in our apartment until the lease ends and then move in with them until he's home. But then that seemed silly because I'm gonna be have summer off, so I'm probably gonna do some traveling while he's gone during the summer. And then I'll start, whoa. <laughs> and then I'll start working. And if I'm gone for 12 hour shifts 
three days a week and if I do a new grad program I might be gone even more it just felt like we were paying all this money for me to have somewhere to sleep like it just felt stupid for me to be here by myself especially because our apartment is a two bedroom I don't need all the space while I'm alone so it just felt silly to do that so we thought about it we wrote it all out on paper we talked about our options we talked to Connor's family we talked to my family and ultimately we decided that we are going to break our lease which um, you in like every contract it's a law in the United States if you receive orders um, from the military to move or you receive orders um, for a deployment that's longer than three months which Connors is you can break your lease at any time you just have to show proof of those orders there's like normally a fee you have to pay to break your lease early and we don't have to pay that so we've decided that we're gonna break our lease early we will give them his orders from his deployment uh, break our lease and we will move home and I'm gonna move back in with my parents Connor is gonna like so we'll break our lease We'll start moving home and we'll probably live with my parents together i don't know for a couple weeks before he goes so we decided that that's what we're doing i'm going to be moving back home so it's really funny because i'm going to be moving to the exact same room that i had as a teenager that i started this youtube channel in so we're going back there which is so strange like i never thought i'd be moving back in with my parents but it's just the smartest move for us financially right now until he's home and then when he's home from deployment we hope to know where i'm working have a better idea of like where we can look for houses because we also thought about buying a house before he leaves, but again, we don't know where I'm gonna be working. And if I'm working at a hospital right near the base that he works at, we may wanna live on base or at least closer to the base. If I'm working up in Denver, then we need to stay like in the area that we're in now so that I could commute to Denver and he could commute down to Colorado Springs. It kind of just, it just really weighs heavily on where I'm working and I'm not gonna know that until after he's gone. So it just, again, like I said, just made the most sense for us financially to have me move back home. I'll live with my parents while he's gone on the deployment and then whenever he gets back, we can hopefully start house hunting. I'll have job, I will have been working, we'll know where I'm working um, we'll know what area we need to look on look in based on where I'm working where we can live based on commutes all that stuff so long story short that's just what made the most sense for us was for me to move home we'll be saving a lot which is great that'll help us buy a house when he gets back and yeah so we'll probably be living with my parents together for like a few weeks to a month before he deploys and then depending on how quickly we find a house when he gets back we will move out so we might be living there for a few months once he's home not totally sure we'll figure it out but yeah um i had to make this update because things are obviously going to be changing we're going to be moving out of our apartment here in the next few months so things are going to be different and i knew that you guys would be like what the heck um why are you moving i wanted to update you and i was kind of waiting to the last minute just because deployment's a crappy topic to talk about so yeah i it's gonna be rough um I I love my family. I'm so absolutely thankful that I have them close by, that I have the option to move home. So many military wives don't have that option because they live in a state away from their family. So I'm really, really thankful for that. That's huge for us. I'm so grateful that my parents are willing to let me move back in and let me stay with them and all of that. Like that is just so kind and generous of them. So I really appreciate that too. But it is going to be weird. It's odd going from like being independent on your own. Like I was living in my own apartment, getting married, being married to moving back with my parents without my husband. Like it's just a little strange, but it's going to be okay. I'm hoping to use the time that he's deployed to really focus on myself and my independence. And um, like I said, he leaves in the spring-ish. He'll be gone during the summer. So I'm hoping to use the summer to travel a little bit, hopefully start a job and really just spend some time on myself, going to the gym, finding new hobbies, um, becoming a nurse. A lot of big milestones are coming up in 2020 and although I'm very excited for this year, it's it's scary and it's nerve wracking and deployment's always scary. It's never a fun topic. Um, nobody wants their loved one to leave like that or to be unsafe or anything like that. So yeah, um, that's about all the information I have on the deployment that I can share. If you guys have questions that I can answer, if you have questions, leave them below and I'll answer them if I can, otherwise I won't. But yeah, so that's kind of where things are looking at for now. Um, we will be in this apartment still for a few more months. Like I said, he doesn't leave till the spring time-ish. Again, this is so hard to like talk without giving you guys like months and references. But yeah, so we will still be here for a couple months. Again, I'm not sure when you guys are gonna see this video. It might be January, it might be April, I don't know. So 
what is on my chin. I feel like I have a pimple. As of right now in January, we still have a few more months left in our apartment. We bought a storage unit the other day and we took down all of our Christmas decorations and took that over to the storage unit just because I'm not gonna need it at my parents' house. We're not storing everything. I am bringing some stuff with me to my parents' house, but like all of Connor's clothes will go into storage. All of our kitchen like utensils, our master bedroom, our guest bedroom, our washer and dryer, our kitchen. I think I'm gonna take the couch in our living room and put that in my parents' house because they have like an open space that I could put it in. All of our master bedroom furniture, I think is gonna go in the storage unit just because when I moved out, my parents bought furniture to fill that room that I lived in because it was a guest room for them now. So there's furniture in there already. So I think I'm just gonna put our master bedroom furniture, like take it all apart and put that in storage. Basically a lot's going into storage other than my clothes and like some of our decor pieces I'm gonna bring because I still want my room to feel like homey, even though it's temporary and even though it's like kind of already decorated based on how my mom decorated it and my brother decorated it when he lived in that room after I moved out. So I'm just gonna bring a few things, but a lot of stuff is going into storage and we've started moving things in there and like I said, we still have a few months left. So I think over time, we're just gonna slowly start taking things to the storage unit. But yeah, so that's that. Um, you know, not a topic I'm super stoked to be talking about, but I wanted you guys to know because obviously there's gonna be changes. I won't be filming in the apartment anymore. You're gonna see us moving or moved. And I just obviously have to update y'all and let you know what's going on in our life. So yeah, um, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and end the vlog. It's already like 20 minutes long of me rambling. So. I'm gonna leave it here, but that's pretty much the update that I wanted to give you. So, yeah, okay. Um, I'm gonna end the video here because I don't, I'm just rambling and I don't really know what else to say other than Connor's deploying. So yeah, um, I will see you guys in the next video. If you've been through a deployment, have any words of encouragement, have any questions, leave them down below and I will be sure to get back to you in the comments. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video.